So I get a couple questions asking about how do I get over this one fear that I have of, of you know, doing one thing or, or what's one mindset I could do to get out of this one thing. There are common photography fears, and I'm not just talking about, you know, mistakes or fears as a beginner. This can go from anyone that's a hobbyist, you know, an amateur, pro, anyone, someone who's advanced. It doesn't matter. There's common photography fears that even the proest of pros that can be afraid of. I have a few of them, and here's how you can get through them. Shooting in public can be a very, very intimidating thing because you're worrying, like you're looking around like, oh my God, are, are people judging me? You know, are they afraid that I'm taking their photo? Well, yeah, probably, but you really have to think about, you know, nowadays, maybe back 10 years ago, 15 years ago, if you're around in public, it's not the same, but you have people now that, you know, vlogging where you just hold a camera out in front of you and, you know, you talk to it. It's not, it's not, it's commonplace now. So it's something you shouldn't really have to worry about. You know, there might be people that judge you, you get judged every day. I get judged every day. You know, when I go out and make videos and everything like that, I'm doing them out in public. You know, I go out in my main street and there's people passing by and of course I might get a look or two, but who cares? So that's one thing you really have to worry about. You just, you face it. You go out, go in public. You, you're there for a specific reason. You know, focus on your subject. Get that vision out of your head and just do it. Shooting in public, it does take getting used to. Because a year and a half ago, when I did a couple of my first videos and I went out on my main street in my town, I was I was really nervous. I was like, oh, whew. you know, uh, that's just how it is. And that's just how it goes. And it's just something that you keep doing. You get over it. Now I can go out and I don't really, I don't care. You know, whatever. I don't care. If you're trying to, whatever. Oh, you're taking photos of me? No, shut up. And just know your rights. Know exactly what you can or you can't do. If you know, if you're doing something for a publication, know that you need model releases and all these kind of forms if you're in a public area. But know that you can shoot there, you can shoot there. But just face it. Do what you can. Shoot in public. It's pretty cool. It's something different than just staying in a studio if it's not what you want to do. Failure, another common fear. Now, the most common thing that people think is either, you know, you just go right to success or you either fail right away. Well, it's not the case. You could try so many different areas and still fail if it's not what you're used to or it's something that you're not really meant for. Or if there's a, there's a ton of stories out there, you know, you know, since you guys are like photography community, if you know Zach Arias, he went through so many failures, he even dropped out of photography before, you know, he got into what he does today and he's known for his lighting and everything like that. You are going to fail. I, it's multiple steps of failure, you know. You can't pay the bills doing photography, so you gotta do something else, or, or you know, you bounce around, and then you either, you can succeed. So failure is the key to success. So improve your work. You're, no one's always perfect. There's always something else to learn. So educate yourself, keep moving. Failure is actually a key to success. Don't let it be a fear. Dealing with people. Now that's true. If you don't know how to talk with people or interact, or if you're a little socially awkward, and that's okay, Dealing with people can be tough. It can, it can really be a common fear, but it's something you have to get over. It's something you just have to, you know, get tough skin and just get used to it. And the more you interact with people, the more you talk with people, you know, the easier it becomes. I love, I love meeting people. I love hearing people's stories. And it's just something that, you know, it grew with over time since I was in college, you know, that really opened me up to meet, uh, to meeting a whole group of people, a whole different demographic. So I'm comfortable around different environments. It doesn't matter. So something you can do, just get out, get talking to people. Yeah, it can be awkward if you don't know someone at first. And that's a lot of the fear. It's you're intimidated if you're meeting a model for the first time, but just ask them how their day was, get to know them. You know, that happens a lot with, you know, people you're even at your job, you don't know everyone at your job, but you just talk common interests. So just ask them how your day was like, Hey, what are you interested in? Bam, you can at least develop some kind of connection. Now it's true, rejection can be a common fear that a lot of people hate, you know, and I hate it too. I hate being rejected for something. But the thing is you have to make it, you have to make sure you don't think it's because of your work. I mean, it might be your work if you're not, you know, fully set up to do something, but you have to remember not every client is right for you. And that's, that's the truth. You know, you might go to this, uh, you know, this client and you, you think this might be the, you know, the right fit for you. But it's not, they, maybe you think like, oh, you know, oh, I could shoot their wedding, they like the way it looked, but maybe they want they want to do a different route that you're not comfortable doing, and that they can find someone else who loves doing this, this tone they love, or this style that you don't do. So you just have to really remember, it's not, it's not because of your work, it's just you're not compatible with everyone, and that's really, really commonplace, and it's just something you have to communicate with them, get talking, get to know them. Once again, that's dealing with people, 
the other fear. But once you do that and you can open them up, you can see if you're really a right match for each other. Because just remember, just because if you have fantastic, if you have great professional work, it's not meant for everyone. I think one of the biggest common fears is the ability to try something new. A lot of people just sit there and they're in their comfort zone and they're not developing much. They're not learning something new. They're not trying something different. Go out there and experiment. This is an awesome art. We can go out and do whatever we want. We could set up this lighting, whatever we want, and make it look, you know, different, whatever we want to do. Top light, split light, brawl light, whatever you want to think, you can do it. Go out and buy a new piece of gear. Rent a piece of gear. You don't have to go buy it. It's cheap. You can buy, you know, rent gear for under $100 and go out and test it. Do shoots with it. Do whatever you can, uh, whatever you can do with it. One of the things I like to say is list ideas. Write down a random color. Write down five random things that come to your mind right now. Go ahead and go. Write them down and do them. Figure out a way to incorporate two of the five or whatever into a certain kind of theme and shoot that. A huge one is going from JPEG and shooting manual mode. Once you know the difference you get when you shoot manual, that's a huge thing. It's a mind blowing thing. Don't, it doesn't matter if you're starting out in auto or JPEG, it's, as long as you're getting shooting, but as long as you're trying to do something new, learn, shoot in manual, shoot in raw format. It's something huge. And once again, that's a huge intimidation factor where people are like, oh, I don't know what to do. That's what this is about. Once again, failures, you see, these all really connect. And just try a new type of photography. It's great if you know, you love shooting landscapes, but try and try to get your friends and go shoot portraitures and try to capture emotion. Or if you only do, um, you know, portraits or headshots or anything like that, and you're, you're bored, you're like, oh, you know, I'm getting so confused on what I want to do. Go out and try landscapes. Go out and try street photography, whatever. Do, do something else, do something different, and don't be afraid.